Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. In this video, we will learn how to set up users and grant rights to them. While logging into the software, this window appears asking you to enter username. By default, there is only one user, that is administrator. However, you can create different users. Before learning the process of creating users, let us look at the benefits of creating them. You can restrict the access of menu options to different users. You can allow or disallow modification and deletion of documents and masters to each user. You can keep a record of whatever is modified or deleted through a log. Each user can set a separate password for logging into the software. Now let us see how to set up users. In the main menu, go to user access and click on setup users. Start typing the name of user. Type a password which will be used for logging into the software. Press spacebar to tick the box if it is a demo user. Demo user is not allowed to create new master or document. You can enter contact number and email address of the user for communication like notifications and approvals. Tick the box if the user is a supervisor. You can also disable any user. After entering all the details, click on save. In order to disable a user, Click on the user and go to disable user column. Press space bar to tick the column and press enter. Then save it. To view only enabled users, select active users and click on refresh. Similarly, you can view only the disabled users. Choose all if you want to display both active and inactive users. Let us now look at the process of granting rights to different users. Click on allow or disallow menu options. Select the user to whom rights are to be given. And click on refresh. It is mandatory to refresh the phone. Select the menu option the right of which is to be provided. Then right click on the menu option. Click on enable to grant access of that option to the user. By expanding the head, you can see that all the options under that head have been enabled just by one click. If you want to enable only the specific options under a head, then expand the head first and then right click on the particular options to enable them. So, under the purchase head, we have only enabled purchase voucher and purchase return. A green tick means enabled option and a red cross stands for disabled option. Let us understand all the buttons. If you click on Allow Modify button, the user will be able to modify the document. Allow Configuration modification will permit the user to change the configuration settings. If you click on Allow Deletion, the user will be able to delete the document. Click on this button to allow special options of documents or master data. By clicking on this option, the user will be able to add Remove or rename the columns of document or master entry forms. Allow printing button will allow the user to print the document. Click here to allow the user to cancel the documents. Lastly, click on allow reprinting to let the user to reprint the document. Similarly, you can enable the user to create reports. Expand the head first 
and then click on the particular report to enable it. There is one extra button in Reports menu, which restricts the users to view reports of only the allocated branches, configurations, and other filters. So, we have granted modification rights to the user in Purchase Voucher, which is depicted by the tick in front of Allow Modify button. We have not allowed the user to modify Purchase Return because there is no tick in front of Allow Modify button here. We will see its effect in further steps. Before that, let us see how can we copy access rights of one user to another user. Click on Copy. Select the source user from whom the rights are to be copied. Then select the destination user. Click on Copy. Currently, we are logged in through Administrator. We will log into the software again through the new user that we just created, that is Demo User. Enter the password that you created while setting up the user. In the main menu, you can see that only the enabled options are being displayed here. Let us try to modify a purchase voucher. So, we are changing discount from 2% to 4%. You can see that the print button is disabled because we did not allow printing to this user. Let us see if we can save the changes. Yes. Purchase voucher has been modified because we had granted modification rights to the user. Let us also see if the user can delete the purchase voucher. No. Since we did not allow deletion to this user, so an error message has been displayed. Let us see if we can modify purchase written or not. So we have changed the quantity from 2 to 4 units. When we try to save the changes, an error message has been displayed saying that modification rights are not available. This is because we did not allow modification of purchase return to this user. Therefore, changes cannot be saved. Let us now log in back through Administrator to look at User Access Reports. Click on User Access, then User Access Reports. Several reports are available here. We will look at a few of them. The user logbook is used to look at the activities of all users. As you can see here, the report is showing the login and logout time of demo user. It also tells us that demo user has modified a purchase voucher. So, you can keep a track of all activities of different users.
The master modification log tells you about the changes made in the master, like item master, account master, etc. It will display the name of user who made any changes, at what time and date. Similarly, the document modification log tells you about the changes made in documents like purchase bill, sale bill, etc. You can use the given filters. If you want to check the modification of a particular document, you can enter it here. So this report shows the original entry along with the new entry. For example, original quantity and new quantity, original rate and new rate, original discount and new discount, original bill amount and new bill amount, and many more columns. In case your firm has too many different users, granting access rights to each user might be a tedious process for you. To make this process simpler, there is an option of Setup User Template. Define the name of template here, like Billing, Reporting, etc. Then click on Save. Now go to Allow and Disallow menu options to template. Select the template from the drop-down list and click on Refresh. Follow the same steps to grant rights to templates as we did while granting them to users. So instead of granting rights to the users directly, we are granting them to the templates. So basically we are designing different templates which will be further allocated to the appropriate users. After granting rights to the templates, return to the setup template window and click on assign templates to users tab. Select the template that you want to allocate. Then select the user to whom it is to be allocated. You can select multiple users here. Click on Assign. Billing template has been assigned to Manager. Now we will log in the software through Manager user. In the main menu, you can see that only the enabled options in billing template are visible to the manager. So just by designing the template once, you can assign it to multiple users in a single click. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.